Our topic today is energy for life. Before we start this topic, we need to know a few terms. The first uh, set of terms that we would have to know is what are the seven life processes? You remember we have done seven life processes when we just started learning science? So the seven life processes are moving, breathing, feeding, sensing, excreting, reproducing and growing. Our topic is energy for life. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. When we talk about the source of energy, we talk about where something comes from. And when we talk about energy transfer, we talk about the process where energy is moved from one place to another. Now, when we start with energy for life, we talk about how we use energy. We use energy for everything that we do. All living things need energy. They need energy to move, to grow, to breathe, and to carry out other life processes. And you know what the other life processes are. You learned about. People and animals use energy every day to carry out all the things they do. Without energy, they could not run, keep warm, or be healthy. Energy also makes machines and other non-loving things work. This we will do in the next topic. We cannot see energy, but we use it all the time, and we can see what it does. The drawings below show examples of what living organisms need energy for. Girl riding a bicycle, boys playing soccer, cat giving birth, Boy running, donkey carrying a load, mummy measuring a child growing and a child doing homework. So those are some of the ways in which people and animals use energy. We are going to talk about this activity. Activity 1, we will do it orally and then when we have completed this work you will do this in your books. Look at the pictures on the opposite page. So we go back to the page again. Okay, coming back. Let's read the questions. Identify four life processes that require energy. Breathing. Growing. Reproducing. And moving. Question number two. Identify three more things that require animals and humans to use energy. Donkey carrying a load. Child doing work, thinking. And girl riding a bicycle. Make a list of five ways that you use energy today. So you are going to list down the five ways in which you have used energy. We get our energy from food. The energy that we use comes from an energy source. You know what an energy source is. Well, you know what a source is. Again, a source is where something comes from. The source of energy for humans and animals is food. If you look, food is a source of energy. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat other animals. Humans eat plants and animals. We eat food to give us energy to carry out all seven life processes. We also use energy from food to do other things. For example, to think, to learn, to keep warm and even to sleep. Energy passes from food to animals. 
we can show how this energy is transferred from food to people and animals like this. If we go up, the donkey gets energy from the hay. The boy gets energy from the apple. And the lion gets energy from the buck. Donkey gets energy from the hay, boy gets energy from the apple, and the lion gets energy from the buck. Activity 2. Identify things we do that need energy from food. 1. How do we use energy at school? You can answer that on your own. Do you always have a lot of energy? When do you not have a lot of energy? It's got something to do with food. How do you feel if you do not eat all day? Can you think clearly? Where do you get the energy to come to school and work? And make a list of what you ate today. Energy in our food comes from the sun. The sun gives off energy, we see the energy as light and feel the energy as heat when we sit in the sun. Plants are the only living things that can use the sun's energy to make food for themselves and to grow. We call the process photosynthesis. Animals and humans eat plants and other animals as their source of energy. Energy from the sun is transferred to us when we eat food. Plants get the energy from the sun. Animals get the energy by eating plants or other animals. This is the section on energy for life.